वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल गाइज आई होप यू गाइज अ ग्रेट आई होप यू गाइज आर हैविंग अ गुड डे लुक गाइज आई नो दैट आई बिन वेरी इनकन्सिस्टेंट विद माई वर्कआउट ब्लॉग्स बट हेम यू आउट गाइज आई हैव अ गुड रीजन सो वन एवर आई एम ब्लॉगिंग आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू गाइज समथिंग इंटरेस्टिंग समथिंग something like location something like a view or something interesting that doesn't waste your time if you guys are clicking on my video i want you guys to utilize that time in learning something so what happened was i wasn't really doing anything uh, since you guys know i'm in mumbai uh, spending my vacation so the majority of the time i'm just hanging out with my friends or i'm just chilling at my home there's really nothing to show you guys but uh i've decided that if nothing i'm going to record my workout vlogs every day so at least you guys can know what's going on with the workout and the transformation right now so i'm going to give you guys the current physique update so i started my uh, body transformation on the weight of 101 or 102 kg it was fluctuating between that and i came down all the way to 93 kg uh in about 6 weeks so my body weight was 93 kg i decided to do a cheat day with my friend we went to 711 and we had a lot of food and i ended up getting food poisoning so i was on a bed rest for almost one week and at the same time i had pre symptoms of malaria so i was on a lot of medicines so for almost one week i haven't really eaten anything because of the food poisoning and i was on a high dosage of medicine so my body doesn't feel strong uh as strong as i was uh, before getting food poisoning and everything but um i'm going to go to the gym today and try to hit a leg workout and see if i'm doing well or the weakness i'm pretty sure the weakness is going to be there but uh, still i need to hit legs because legs are one of those muscles that i want to get rid as soon as possible i mean not in literal sense but when it comes to training i like to train my legs uh, before any other muscle group so uh, it has 4 to 5 days before i finish all training all the muscle groups it has 4 to 5 days for recovery so that, so that i can train again so my current split is going to be uh, leg chest shoulder back and arms i really made this uh, split depending on my weak body parts so i think my shoulders are strong now uh, compared to what they were before the transformation uh, i've put on a lot of muscles on my shoulder now so it looks good that's why i'm going to train my chest and shoulder together and when it comes to back my back is weak right now so i have a lot of thickness in my back but the width is not really there that's why i'm giving a separate day for my back uh chest and shoulder looks good arms are a bit smaller compared to my uh rest of the body parts so i really need to work on my biceps because genetically i have long arms so the biceps is going to take some time to grow but i still got the guns but you know working on the weak muscle group that's why we have this split now enough talking guys let's just go to the gym uh have a pre workout and start our leg all right guys so since i'm not on a keto anymore and i'm having high carb and low carb day so i have the privilege of trying a pre workout so i haven't tried this pre workout uh, really but i've heard a lot lot about this so this is rath by muscle blaze i'm going to take about one scoop for today's leg workout and see how the workout goes also guys i'll be doing a dry scoop because uh, i cannot really handle the flavors before workout so we'll just do a dry scoop that didn't go well i'm not used to doing a dry scoop on pre workouts i usually take caffeine tablets but anyways let's give it a shot So guys, I've been doing front squats and high bar squats for for uh, almost for a two months or three months. So today we'll be doing low bar squats. It's been a very long time that I've tried this because I was really trying to build a stability in my squats, and I like how high bar squats. But as of today, I just feel like trying low bar squats. Uh, so let's see how it goes. So the whole difference between a high bar squat and a low bar squat. On a high bar squat, typically typically Place the bar 
on the upper traps not really even on the traps but majority of your upper traps are taking over and you're really keeping a upright posture during the entire movement whereas on a low low bar squat really placing the bar on your lower trap and majority of the work is done by your glutes your lower back and your hamstrings rather than compared to squat it looks like something like this compared to the front squats it's more upright so you go straight down and straight up what's the difference actually guys the front uh, the high bar squat really targets your quadriceps and your low bar squat really targets your entire uh, quad muscles hamstring glutes and there are also secondary muscles in it so for power lifting i think it's best to do low bar squat because you can utilize other supporting muscle and lift more uh, but when we compare it to high bar squat it re it's really for developing your quads and i've seen great olympic lifters doing really heavy squats up to 300 or 350 kg on a high bar so the choice is yours i personally like to do high bar because i want to master uh, this technique and also guys i used to do olympic lifting so i have a small base from that for doing high bar squats The warm up set feels good you going to go high in uh, weights and try to do 4 to 6 reps Also, guys, I want to talk to you guys about wristband. So, on a low bar squat, there's a lot of strain, a lot of pressure on your wrist while holding the bar on your lower trap. So, it's always um, necessary and a smart uh, way to use straps because you don't, you're not training your wrist. So there's no point of not wearing a strap. I don't want to hear any of that bullshit that straps are for uh, ladies or anything. be smart guys in the gym if this protects your wrist wear this if a belt if you feel like you don't have enough strength on your lower back or your core isn't strong enough wear a belt protect yourself at any cost doesn't make you any less of a man or a woman it's just a good way of preventing injuries so you're not in the gym to show off you're here to protect yourself and build muscle at the same time if that makes sense so always use a wristband if you're lifting heavy whether on a a low bar squat or on a bench press doesn't matter if it's necessary use them So I just noticed uh, that my low bar squat technique isn't uh, up to the mark. Uh, as I was editing, I saw a few clips where uh, my upper body is very low, and I need to keep upright posture. Not really upright, but have a 45 degree angle on my back. So it's not up to the mark because I've been I've uh, I've done this after a very long time. But 
few session of low bar squat is going to uh, correct the mistakes that I'm doing in low bar squat. But I'm really not going to uh, practice low bar squat because I want. Um, so my max on a low bar squat is 180 kgs uh, that I've done long back. But uh, when it comes to high bar, I'm very weak. Even for you guys, if you guys are doing low bar squats, just give it give it a try on a high bar squat, and you'll see the weight shift on your lift. It's going to come down. Your quads are working more than they used to be on a low bar squat. So it definitely makes you feel weak. But with practice, you can lift a good weight on a high bar squat as well. So, this, so the squats are over. The second exercise is going to be our regular deadlifts. I uh, haven't done this in a while, but uh, I've been doing stiff leg deadlift. I felt like today uh, I can do deadlift. So we'll do three sets for six to eight reps and uh, then we'll move on to the next. guys we'll be using straps for the next set just so we can focus on the movement rather than the grip Alright guys, so we have completed two major movements, so we won't talk anymore. We'll just do a quick workout and we'll try to do a montage, but I, I don't think montage is possible. But um, I'll play some music and the rest of the workout. So before we start the workout, I'll quickly explain you guys what else we are going to do. We're going to do two sets of leg extension, two sets of hamstring curl and then three sets of standing or either seated calf raises. Let's go.
that is it for today's workout let's do a quick recap so we did uh, low bar squats for four set first set was warm up and then we did three working set for six to eight reps either uh, for four to six reps the second exercise was a regular deadlift we did three sets for six to eight reps then we did a leg extension for two sets leg curls for two set and then calf raises for two set that is it for the vlog guys i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog so guys i'll be vlogging regularly now uh, i'll show you guys the entire split that i'm training so you can hope for another vlog which is going to be a chest and shoulder workout if you guys like this video make sure to subscribe make sure to like also guys let me know in the comments if the beard suits me i'm very skeptical about this so i might just shave the beard or keep the beard it depends on your comment if you think it suits me and suits the vlog and suits the entire uh, fitness thing then i'm going to keep it otherwise it's going to go so i'll see you guys in the next vlog until then keep working hard and stay motivated हो गया सर सीक्वेंस में ये रियल में हो रहा है वो मजाक कर रहा है